Hey, how you doing? This is Dr. Dave, Paragon Chiropractic. Um, thank you for following along with the blogs. This is the video I wanted to, to add with this particular blog. Your, your body is consistent. It's mostly this connective tissue, and this is going to be a real quick uh, Reader's Digest sort of a thing. Um, if we were to put something into your body and get all your bone and everything to, uh, to dissolve but save the connective tissue, you would still be standing just like this. This uh, uh, connective tissue matrix is intense. The essence or the matrix of this material is almost like a mucus. It's a snotty, sticky, sort of a mucusy type thing. If you compress it, it gets tight and it packs. As it, you move, it becomes fluid, and so it takes on all these different properties. Good. What we're talking about is that when you get a person who sits for a period of time, you compress certain aspects of this connective tissue, you overstretch certain ones, and you start to limit motion. Let's just say that this is the motion of this arm, as far as this goes. As soon as I start to not move, and I start limiting these ranges, we get all this uh, he calls it, a guy named Thomas Meyer calls this felt, but it's all this buildup of junk over here that limits this. You need to be able to move into this felt or this buildup, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, if you're, you're from out east, if you've ever had your windshield wipers go and how it pushes the snow, we need those windshield wipers to move into the snow. Um, so some of the simplest ways to do that is to control your actions and your body motions. Um, you, you essentially want to explore those ranges of motion. Um, let's see, that's a, good, that's a good way to put it, to explore, get into those, into those felty areas where you don't have motion. We don't want to whip it in there, but we want to feel this. So when you're walking, you basically want to make sure you're pull, pulling through and that you're walking through the big toe and you're moving through. And you'll feel your hip glide. We don't want this choppy stuff. No, oh, yeah, yeah, this is how I normally walk. No, we want elegance. We want graceful motion through. When you go to get up and down out of a chair, you can do the same thing. Find the chair with your butt. Explore that motion. Good. When you go to get up, stand up through. Explore those motions. What you're trying to do is we have a normal range. As you stop moving, you start to get a buildup of adhesive sticky garbage out on these end ranges. You can't move, it limits this. This is a dysfunctional movement, which you'll get hurt when you go to the gym and do stuff. So we want to start to try and move a little more into these areas. And it's gonna take a ton of work, because as soon as you move into them, you'll gain this range of motion. Oh, hey, I'm gonna sit here now, I'm gonna watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Oh, wow, okay, and there it is. It's like, nah, it all tightened and shrank up again. It, um, so the simplest thing to do is sort of get the idea of what I'm talking about here. Make an appointment with Paragon Chiropractic and let us show you and explain this so that you can start to get into and explore these ranges of motion before you lose these ranges of motion. Um, yeah. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, just do me a favor and give us a call and come on in. <laughs> Let me show you this because this video is all over the place and uh, good. Well, thank you very much and continue reading.